What's up guys and welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while and I appreciate your understanding and patience during this current time that I'm currently going through. For the past month and a half now, my family and I have been going through a very tough situation with my mother being diagnosed with brain cancer. Radiation and chemo has not been easy and it's therefore put a lot of pressure on me personally, both physically and mentally, as well as my family. I therefore decided to continue my break from social media and felt it wasn't the right time to return. I have one rule in this whole journey, it's that family and friends come first, especially in times of need. I didn't want to put myself first, I didn't want to overpressurize myself and also for the sake of content creation, I didn't want to create stuff that wasn't meaningful. You all join my channel for different reasons, whether it's to support me on a stream at the pub, whether it's to watch the motivational side of me, whether it's to watch the sports previews and recaps, whether it's to watch my team previews, etc. Or whether it's to, just to watch G-Man for my laughs and all, all that stuff. You all watch me for a reason. And I didn't want to create content during that time when I just didn't feel me. I didn't feel that there was a need to do it. There's times when I question whether or not I will come back, but we all know at the end of the day, I am coming back. And I can give you the date. It will be the 1st of July. I will be covering every single bit of the Lions tour. I will be coming back stronger than ever. I've planned this both physically and mentally in my head because as life continues, and even though we're going through tough situations, the show must go on. I still have a career that I'm continuing to work with every day. Although they've been understanding and allowing me to work from home and spend as much time with my mom that I have left, it's just been a, a, an up and down journey for me and I'm very grateful to my work for that. YouTube, on the other hand, takes time after hours when that's normally my family time. And over the past three years of total grinding on this channel i lost a lot of that family time because i would literally get home from work and start editing start creating videos or start streaming or doing other things or researching or creating new things my brain was so focused on youtube and content creating that i i lost lost the family bonding time and just recently I realized how important it is that we need to live life to the full, but we also need to realize that life is short. Life is fragile and we need to appreciate every single person we have in our life. Whether it's a, f a loved one, whether it's a, uh, a family member, whether it's a friend, acquaintance, a colleague, you've got to appreciate those people in life. Whether you're going through a rough time or not, it could be a personal thing with the a fight between you and a friend or a fight between you and a family member a fight between you and a colleague or a misunderstanding even I encourage you guys to go out there and create peace with those people whether it's hard or not whether they're right or wrong try and create peace because as I said life is short and can end in an instant you will not want to live your life with regret saying what if what if and that's my goal going forward with the time I have left with my my mom I don't want to live going, I sh shouldn't have done this, or I shouldn't have done that. I will take more time into being with the family, but I will also be coming back to YouTube. It's been a time of questions, doubts, negativity, and confusion. I've lost myself a few times over the past two months. And uh, in fact, this whole year just hasn't been my year because losing grandfather um, at the start of the year, personal experience with someone I cared about, um, you know, different kind of things. But at the end of the day, life goes on and we need to make a success story or we need to try and build and grow mentally because if we sit in doubt and feel sorry for ourselves and question ourselves, why this, why that, why this? You're going to live your life with full-on regret, and that's not how you should be living. You should be living in celebration of the fact that you're given a life, and it's up to us to make it great or not. Even when you're in the darkest of times, you get back up and you move forward. And you also think of the negativities, like my mother's brain cancer, not long left. But I had 30 great years with her, and those are special memories. There are people out there who had... Two close friends of mine lost their father two years ago. They are in their 20s. So they only had 20 years. I had 30. 
my best mate Zaini lost his father just four, five years ago. Five years ago. I had more time with mine, so I'm grateful for that, even though it's hard. But there are people who have lost their, their parents as kids. My two younger cousins lost their mom at the age of uh, six and ten. Who would have thought? Sorry, I lied. Four and eight. We all go through different instances and it's up to us to try and figure out some sort of hope and peace. Live your life with the memories and live your lives with the strength that can keep you going forward. And also remember, those family members that are sadly going to lose you, they will want you to live your life to the full, to get back up, to get back up and prove to the world that you are strong enough and brave enough to live this life you're living. Because that's why we're here. We're here for a reason. And it's up to us to make the success story. I have dwarfism, a disability that has caused so much chaos in my life, but I've never allowed it to get the better of me. I've turned it into a success story of YouTube, of motivational speaking, of so many different things. I've used my disability and made it my absolute ability to take over and to live my life to the full. But it's your mind. You've got to not let your mind take over. I'm an overthinker, so I think about things so many times. And over the past month and a bit, we've been just doing that. It's, uh, it's thinking, why questions this? But we've also been enjoying every minute we've got with my mom while she's still in a state where she can physically talk with, with us and share moments and share memories and create memories and joke and, and give hugs and do all those things. Those are special times, hence why I've taken so long to come back. I know a lot of you guys are worried about me. I know a lot of you guys have been texting me, messaging me in the comments. To you, I thank you. I thank you for the support and the encouragement for me to get back in. Without you, I wouldn't be coming back. To my family and friends who have encouraged me to keep going, keep fighting, I salute you too. To my closest friends who have always stuck out for me and checked on me, whether it's a daily basis or weekly basis, every second week I thank you for your support. The amount of love and support that so many people have given me and my family has been truly incredible. A shout out to my dad who might watch this later, to my sister who have been working the utmost best and strength to keep my mom comfortable and happy. I salute you. From a, a person with dwarfism perspective, it's been mentally challenging for me. Because I'm short and I can't do much physically, I can't help. So I literally sit and watch my poor father and sister, odd family member, go through some sort of pain of trying to lift and move and do all these things, go through these tough instances in life. You know how hard that is because you feel worthless. And I have felt worthless. I felt to a point where I just broke down and thought, what's the point? Can't do anything. But it's the support that you give to that family member. It's the encouragement you give them and the motivation you give them to keep on fighting as well. And I didn't realize that at the time until I sat down with my dad and family and they let me know on that. So always think at the end of the, the darkest points in life, there is still a light at the end of the tunnel. So having said that, I thank you all for your support, for your prayers, for your thoughts, um, for everything that you guys have done for me over the past three and four months. It's, it's not been a good year for me mentally for YouTube. Um, I could have built something great, but for me, I have no regrets of not continuing because again, I want to create stuff that creates memories with you. The Lions tour, if I have overworked myself and got into a state, going through what I'm going through, it wouldn't have been the same of what it's going to be like in June. It's going to be a good tournament. It's going to be a memorable moment for us to share. We're going to grow. I really couldn't care less if we lose subscribers or grow subscribers as long as the community stays strong and we stay together and the G Nation just sticks and moves forward and we grow the brand of Walking Tall to stay safe, never give up and keep believing in everything and anything you do and that will go forward. So, having said that, mark your calendars and this time I mean it. July 1st, we are coming back. July 1st, I am going back on the health spree. July 1st 
It's going to be the new beginning of walking towards you, man. It's going to be the new beginning of Gareth Ross Mason. We're coming back with a bang. And this time, I'm not going to allow silly things or big things get in the way of what we wanted to build. There's one thing my mother always taught me. It was work to the best of your ability. Never give up on your dreams and keep fighting no matter what. The first person who will shout at me if I had to give up would be her. So for you, mom, I will continue this journey and I will grow and make you proud as we go on in life. I will make everyone proud. This is my comeback. I've had so many setbacks this month. I've had so many setbacks in the past year and a half where I've just kind of messed up things with friends or messed up things with certain situations. But I've also built so much and created so much and gained so much. And yeah, that's been the worst. I've won things, I've done things that has been special. And those are the things that need to help you and keep you going forward. So we are going to bounce back and we are going to come back with the bang. So I thank you once again for the support, the love, the encouragement. We are back, baby. And we're going to be bigger, better than ever. So hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big, big lot of love because I need all the encouragement I can to continue this. And I appreciate you all so much it's hard to say how much you appreciate people when you're talking through a camera and you just watch me but i feel that love that you share me and i hope i can express my passion and love to you guys and everything i do because that's why i do it if it's not working then what's the point but for me this is what keeps me going this is what keeps me fighting this is what keeps me believing we're back and we're ready and we're going to do good things and great things going forward thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for absolutely everything i cannot wait to continue this journey with you stay safe <laughs> and never give up cheers